Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Guy Kasparov and Lajos Portish. This game was played in Nikšić in 1983. And where is Nikšić? Nikšić je grad u Crnogori. <laughs> that means Nikšić is a city in Montenegro. And where is Montenegro? Crnogora is malena, ali je časna i poštena. Negoš nam je otac sveti, u njega smo svi zakleti. Ok, let's have a look at the game. Gary Kasparov had white pieces and he started with d4. Portish played knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to f3, b6. Portish wants to play queen's Indian defense. Knight to c3, bishop to b7, a3, preventing bishop to b4. d5, c takes on d5. How to capture? With pawn or with knight? Taking with knight is more popular because this is not blocking the bishop. This is the move played in the game. e3. Knight takes knight, pawn takes knight, bishop to e7, it is a white move, bishop to d3 and bishop to b5 are two most popular moves in this position. Kasparo played bishop to b5 check, c6, bishop to d3, c5, and Kasparo castled kingside. Of course, check doesn't do anything here, because now bishop to c6 will be played. Okay, we have a castling, knight to c6, bishop to b2, hmm, is bishop effective here? Only two pawns need to be pushed, and dark squared bishop will become a very dangerous piece. Rook to c8, queen to e2, portish cast at kingside, rook from a to d1, lining the rook with black queen, queen to c7, c4, c takes on d4, e takes on d4, and white has hanging pawns, c4 and d4 are hanging pawns. Knight to a5 attacking the pawn on c4. How should white continue? Three attackers, two defenders. Well, first move that comes to mind is rook to c1 defending the pawn. Of course, Kasparov has a better idea. d5 unleashing dark squared bishop on b2. e takes on d5, c takes on d5. Perhaps g6 could be played, but we have bishop takes pawn on d5. Why to move? Bishop takes on h7 check. Discovered attack on the bishop on d5. King takes bishop. Rook takes bishop on d5. King to g8. We have reached the most interesting position of the game. It is a vital move. What would you do? Please pause the video and try to find Kasparov's next move. Ready? What did you find? Perhaps knight to e5 or knight to d2, clearing the diagonal for the queen. In the game, Kasparov sacrificed the bishop on g7. Did you see this coming? Would you play this in your game? King takes bishop. Knight to e5. With this move, Kasparov is clearing the long diagonal for his queen. That is d1, h5 diagonal. Rook from f to d8. Queen to g4, check. King to f8. 
would you beat Portish from this position if you had white pieces? Game description and the link for the exercise are provided in the text under the video. Why to move? Kasparov played queen to f5. What is this threatening? Queen takes on f7, checkmate. f6. Knight to d7, check. If king goes to e8, what happens then? Then queen to g6, check, mate. So, nasty white horse must be killed. Rook takes knight. Rook takes rook, attacking the queen. Queen to c5. Queen to h7. Rook to c7. Lyosh Portish is keeping his cool and defending well under the circumstances. Queen to h8, check. King to f7. Rook to d3. Knight to c4. Knight is coming back in the game. Rook from f to d1. Knight to e5. Attacking the rook. What now? Why to move? What would you do? Kasparov played Queen to h7, check. If king goes to e8, what happens then? Then queen to g8, check. Bishop to f8, check. And if rook to e7, there is checkmate in one. Okay, so after queen to h7, check, we have king to e6, check. King to f5. Why to move? What would you do? Kasparov played g4, throwing everything at the black king. King to f4. If knight takes pawn, what happens then? Then rook to f3, check. And after king to e5, queen takes knight, and queen to f5, checkmate would be next. So we have king to f4, rook to d4, check, king to f3. Is black king coming for a cup of coffee? Why to move? What would you do now? Kasparov played queen to b3, and Portish resigned. Portish didn't find a good defense. One possible continuation is queen to c3, then queen to d5, check, king to e2, queen to e4, check, and now what? Queen to e3, then queen takes queen, check, mate. That was an epic king hunt by Gary Kasparov. Many people believe that Gary Kasparov is the best chess player of all time. What do you think? What do you think of this game? Let us know if you can beat Terminator from the position at move 24. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt and bye for now.